What's going on guys, I'm here with a tutorial on how to make a view model that appears when a tool is equipped. The view model is only on screen when the tool is equipped and goes away when the tool is unequipped. Without further ado, let's get started. I'm actually going to create a script in Starter Player uh, Scripts that just makes the game first person. So let me do that real quick and then I'll show you the code. This script just sets the player's camera mode to be one, which is first person. The first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to actually have to create the avatar that will become our view model. You could go into Avatar, create a rig builder, and just a block rig should be fine. Make sure it's R6 because R6 looks the nicest for view models. Make sure to rename the rig to view model in your explorer. After you rename it, just go through everything in the view model and delete everything besides the head, the left arm, and the right arm. Go into the head and delete everything in the head. After that, go to the arms and head and just make everything smooth plastic so it doesn't look like styrofoam. After that, you could resize the head, just make sure it's centered, and then you are going to set the head to be be completely transparent. Then go through and resize the arms. I recommend doing 0.05 for all of them and then rescaling the Y axis as necessary. After that, customize the arms to however you like, like color, if you want to add an attachment or an accessory to it, then go ahead. Then once you do that, you're going to want to add the accessory that you want to be in the view model to the view model. In this case, I'm using an M4A1 from the Comprehensive Gun Kit. I'll put a link to the model for the Comprehensive Gun Kit in the description. Rotate the left and right arms so they're sticking out so you know it actually looks like you're holding something. Reposition whatever thing you're using for the view model into the right arm and make sure it actually looks like the arm is holding the weapon. Rotate the arms as necessary and like move them, scale them to where you get a good looking view model. Make sure every single part of the view model, this means anything in the weapon or attack like accessory that you're having the view model be along with the arms make sure it's all anchored and it cannot collide if anything in the view model can collide with anything else that will screw up the entire view model so make sure nothing can collide we're also going to be adding this to the scripting later also move the finished view model into replicated storage next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a tool we're going to put this in the starter pack for convenience sake for this tutorial but you could put it wherever the player is getting their tools or inventory from put a part named handle inside the tool and make sure the part is 100 transparent and it is not anchored and can't collide with anything after that you're going to add a local script to the tool i'm going to code this local script in bits and then explain them as I code it. All right, so this first bit is just defining variables like the tool, the player, the character of the player, and the camera. Then what we're going to do is we're going to define the view model so we can manipulate it. Then we have a variable that changes when the tool is equipped and when it's not equipped. So in this function right here, it's when the tool is equipped, it will clone the view model to the player camera. And then it will also set equipped to be equal to true. And then when it's unequipped, it will set equipped to be false. It will get the view model in the camera and it will destroy the view model. This next part of the script, I'm going to get the run service service, which is funny to say from Roblox, which basically checks uh, while the game is running. And when it's running for every frame tick, I don't know how this exactly works, but it's basically while the game is running. Um, it will first check to see if the player is dead, and if the player is dead, then it will find the view model in the camera, and then it will destroy the view model. The second and final base part for the script is when the tool is equipped, right here, it will find the view model, and then it will set the view model to be the camera C-frame, and then it will go through for every part of the view model and make sure that it can't collide with anything because if it can collide then it will screw with the view model and then you might be asking stuffy why do you duplicate this line of code right here and right here well that's because we're going to add sway to the view model because without the sway if i just play it right now you can see that the view model works but it kind of looks you know like a jpeg on screen so we want to make it look nicer and how we're going to make it look nicer is using the user input service the next thing we are going to do is we're going to create a C-frame for where the sway is going to originate from. So if I do local sway C-frame equals C-frame dot new, it will create a new uh, C-frame for the sway to originate from. Finally, we're going to do a bunch of math and then apply the sway C-frame or the new sway C-frame that we put through all of that math. And we're gonna times it by the camera c-frame to create a sway effect on our view model math here is kind of complicated and i don't know calculus although i'm not even sure if this is calculus i think this might just be geometry but it basically just is math to determine the x and y of the sway 
and whatnot. I could probably explain it, but I might sound dumb and I don't want to do that because my ego would get hurt. But yeah, for a final product, let's look. And as you can see, our view model now has sway, so it doesn't just look like a JPEG on the screen. Hope this helped, and if you liked it, then make sure to subscribe. I haven't been the most consistent with these tutorials, but I'm planning on becoming a little bit more consistent. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.